To get started with SciCat, you'll need to create a new project. The current project's name is displayed on top of the left-hand column. At present, of course, no project is loaded, so no project is displayed. Let's create a project. Click the File menu, choose New, and choose Project, which will open the Create Project dialog. The first thing you'll see is a field asking you for a directory. It is very important to understand that a SciCat project is not a file. Rather, it is a directory, also known as a folder, that will contain all of your project's data files. This field is where you'll specify your project folder. To, to get started, click the button to the right of the field, which will take you to a dialog where you can select a folder. I'm going to create a new folder, which is what we recommend for all SciCat projects. You can use existing folders, but you'll be much better off if you create a folder exclusively for use uh, with SciCat and that project. So I'm going to create a project, or rather a folder here. I'm going to name it Super Fun Times. Uh, and at LatCore, we often go so far as to append the folder name with SciCat to make it very clear that it's a SciCat project, so I'll do that here as well. So super fun time, SciCat. Uh, so I've created that folder now. I'm going to click Save, and I now see my folder name listed in the directory field, super fun time, SciCat. The next field, name, is the internal name of your project. It defaults to whatever folder name you selected in directory, but you can customize it to make it whatever you want, but it's only an internal name, so I'll call it super fun times forever. Next, choose whether your project describes a well or an outcrop. I'm going to leave it as a well. In the next two fields, scheme and import section wizards, we will uh, ignore for now. They will be discussed in future tutorials, but leave them as is at default and unchecked for now, and click the OK button. You should now see your project name on top of the left-handed column, as I do here. Super fun times forever, meaning it's been suc created successfully and opened. Otherwise, there's nothing else in here. The project is empty, so there really isn't much to see. We'll look at creating sections in the next tutorial. But for now, before moving on, just another reminder that the, the SciCat project is a folder and not a file. And to further convince yourself of this, we'll do a little exercise. So close the project by going to the File menu and choosing Close Project. And now you should see No Project on top of the column. Now we're going to open the project. So go to File, Open Project, and navigate to the folder that you created. Again, not a file, but a folder. So I'm going to select my project, Super Fun Times, SciCat, and click Open. If I do that, I see my project name there, I know I'm good to go. Uh, if I did this incorrectly, for instance, if I tried to go into Super Fun Times and now clicked open in, or chose Schemes and opened here, SciCat will tell me that what I've selected is not a SciCat project directory. So that's the first step, getting a project created.